Hello, pretty long ago, I think about two years ago, I have tested two uh, models of headphones. One was made by Xiaomi, second was made by Meizu. Meizu model was HD50, Xiaomi I don't remember its model, but it's still sold uh, everywhere, so probably you know about it. And uh, the tests showed that uh, actually there is a difference between these two companies and Meizu do care about the sound. Of course, it's not the most audiophilic company ever, but uh, anyway, they thinking about sound quality and they testing what they are producing. So when they announced uh, USB-C portable digital analog converter or dongle, I was interested, especially when I learned that uh, they are going to release so-called Pro version. It uh, features Cyrus Logic Digital Tonal Converter and Adaptive uh, Texas, in Texas Instruments op amp. So by the specs, it's uh, capable of uh, driving headphones up to 600 ohms of impedance. But of course, it's a bit uh, exag exaggeration. Uh, but anyway, I've got it for review and uh, I've tested it. Price is about fifty dollars plus minus few bucks. Uh, also, there is a non-pro version, but I think there is no sense in saving like fifteen dollars. It's better to get a pro version. And now let's have a closer look. Box is simple, but of course it's done nicely. When company uh, of Meizu level is <laughs> wants to sell you dongle for fifty dollars, they do their best to package it properly. You can see nice polygraphy with combination of uh, glossy and uh, non-glossy material. Actually, it looks really attractive in the real life. On the back side there are some technical specifications. I actually got no idea what's written here, but almost everything is dubbed into English. So dynamic range is 120 decibels, total harmonic distortions are really low, frequency response from 20 Hz to 40 kHz, so high res certified. Impedance range from 16 ohms to 600 ohms, but as I said before, it's a bit exaggeration. And uh, what is also really nice feature, it's PCM 32 bits up to 384 kHz and DSD up to DSD 128. So you can see that it's pretty decent uh, digital analog converter in terms of specifications. And inside of this box you will have some uh, manual and dongle itself so that's pretty much it but actually what else we can expect in terms of design they also try to do at least something to make it a bit more interesting so i'm not sure will video show it to you but there is a small hole with a small with tiny see-through window and inside you can see that uh, digital tonal converter and probably amplifier chips that are put inside so all electronics part is placed in the connector and uh, you can see how small it is and you know it's really fun to see how far modern modern electronic uh, electronics uh, go here is connector for headphones and nice fabric coated cable. So everything looks really durable and really reliable. Of course it's really simple in terms of operations. You need something to use as a source. Just connect it. But what is interesting here it won't be connected until you plug uh, actually earphones. So when you did this, USB audio device is connected. So as you can see, it uh, monitors the, that headphones are connected and when they are disconnected, it will disconnect the device to save the battery. And speaking about the battery, it's actually one of the most interesting uh, questions here is uh, battery lifetime and what I can say here this uh, amplifier that used here is really adaptive because uh, battery drain depends on the uh, headphones load and on the volume level 
if I remember specs right, I've seen somewhere in the internet that for 32 ohms load it can give up to 30 milliwatts of power and for 600 ohms of impedance it give about 7 milliwatts. Of course 7 milliwatts is uh, too small, but at the same time with high impedance load it will drain your battery quicker. I have did some tests, I used Kaiser and Core as a load. So average in your monitors in terms of sensitivity not really tight but not super easy to drive so and i try to listen them with a direct connection to my uh, actually what i used i used uh, some samsung phone i don't remember which one i have taken it at our uh, at QA, qa department on my main job so it was probably Galaxy Note from... I don't remember actually. It's two years old Galaxy Note. Don't remember the exact name, but basically it's not that important. So when you use this dongle with these headphones, it, uh, battery drain is about 20%, 25% higher than uh, when you just listen from the headphones out. So as you can see, adding this uh, dongle increase battery consumption at about 25 percent well i think it's something that you can sacrifice to get better sound quality besides that uh, also meizu stated that uh, this dongle supports uh, supports uh, tall control and microphone but to be honest i didn't test it because uh, i didn't have any any headphones with microphone with me when i was testing them with smartphone and now i have only only different players to use as a source but i think if they wrote this they checked that and of course about the sound you know in terms of uh, general representation meizu really uh, tried to create something that is uh, leaning towards audiophilic representation almost zero coloration zero attempts to make some kind of fun sound or something like that so they try to do their best to preserve natural and at the same time resolving sound of course don't expect uh, performance of some high-end device with a powerful amplifier with a separate clock generator and so on but for such a small device they really managed to achieve a lot of things especially it's noticeable compared with v18a own sound i did a review of this uh, small dub uh, some time ago link will be in the description but uh, actually short spoiler sonically it's normal but not superb and uh, just adding this little thing changes uh, pretty lot pretty much yeah. No, no changes pretty a lot okay so let's proceed to the description step by step uh, and uh, base base is natural it's uh, pretty fast you know it's a bit faster than it should be in the ideal world but in modern world of uh, smartphone sound where everyone strike to make accented low frequencies and with uh, slow uh, base to add more weight it's like a bit of fresh air so base is fast pretty resolving tight and it goes pretty deep but at the same time it's not accented so if you like uh, base accent uh, probably it's not the best option for you because it's not adding base of course you can get basic headphones for example to compensate that and usually it's easier to add more lows than to reduce them so base is natural detailed pretty fast with nice texturing and uh, so on but not for those who want base accent and as an example it's daft punks uh, get lucky nice engaging bass line and this uh, tiny thing plays it plays it uh, really well with good punch and everything that is necessary mids are resolving they are a bit accented on the micro contrast uh, so no don't expect some additional weight or additional emotions highlighting instead it's highlighting a bit uh, tiny details it's highlighting a bit emotions so uh, sorry not emotions highlighting tiny details and small nuances but not highlighting emotions and not adding weight 
that's the correct version of statement. Uh, so pretty good for those who like uncolored representation, but at the same time it's a bit more picky than, to, for the quality of recording than regular smartphone. But actually if you are adding uh, hi-fi digital tonal converter, that's probably the result that you can expect. And uh, it's also noticeably increasing imaginary stage, usually it's one of the weakest parts in the modern smartphones without dedicated digital tonal converters, because they are usually sounding too flat. So it's its imaginary stage is a bit uh, below average in width and in depth, but it's a step forward comparing with vast majority of smartphones. And as an example for the mid frequencies, I've got John Zorn Batman. So avant-garde jazz at its best and nice really aggressive track with a lot of uh, tempo changes, with a lot of instruments, with a lot of small nuances that is filled by John Zorn and it's sounding pretty good with this digital tonal converter. Of course to unveil full potential of this track you will need something much more expensive but as on the go solution it's really nice. And treble is another noticeable area of improvement, uh, actually, especially compared with V1A, but uh, treble here is uh, has pretty surprisingly good extension, not, not that superb, but you know, sur surprisingly good compared with smartphones or some simple sources, of course. Resolution is uh, normal, not superb, but normal. Attacks and decays are pretty realistic, so treble is uh, pretty lifelike and it's uh, another noticeable improvement point over the regular smartphones because with this digital tonal converter you will get more treble so beware of it if you are treble sensitive maybe it's better to listen to it before buying but at the same time improved treble will give you more overtones will give you more realism and more engagement and as an example for the treble I've got King Crimson Lady of the Dancing Water it's the track that I, I'd never use an ex as an example for the simple source, but with this digital tonal converter it's uh, sounding pretty normal. Not great, but uh, normal, you know, it's, it's, it's already a good result for this device. Nice realistic flute, uh, pretty realistic guitar part and so on. So, once again, to summarize uh, about the sound, it's natural, uncolored, it's for those who want more resolution and more control, but uh, for those who are okay to have not, not accented, not colored sound representation. Speaking about pairing, I like here pretty low level of noise, so with even pretty sensitive in-ear monitor there is zero background noise. I didn't have 600 ohms of impedance headphones, but to be honest, even with uh, 250 ohms biodynamic, uh, it's lacking driving power. But uh, for something from 16 up to 100 ohms, I think it won't be an issue absolutely, so pretty nice amplifier really could work from the Cyrus Logic, from the Texas Instruments and from the Meizu who put all that together. Speaking about the comparisons, I recently tested few dongles, few digital tonal converters in similar uh, form factor and first one was uh, Hedis Sonata, Sona, no, 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 actually not Sonata, actually Hedis dongle, old one, because Hedis recently released two new models, I didn't test them yet, I suppose I will do that in future, but this dongle is better than Hedis one, it's more natural and more resolving. And also, of course, uh, Ibasso DC01, uh, it's balanced uh, dongle, it's, uh, it will give more driving power, but you will need headphones with balanced connector, so it's, it could be a minus. And you can't use uh, regular cable with some uh, adapter with the balanced digital tone converter. Ibasso has also DC-02, non-balanced version, but I didn't test it yet. So DC-01 is a bit better, first of all because of the additional power and also it's, it offers a better stage and a bit more power put into the low frequencies, but at the same time you will need balanced headphones and uh, also it will con consume more power from your source, noticeably more, because more power to the headphones, more power drained from battery. 
So I think for the regular sensitive in-ear monitors or for everyday listening, uh, this could be really worthy options and many people can prefer Meizu dongle over the iBuzz. But of course, if you need maximum quality, you need to consider iBuzz or some maybe some other dongles. There are a lot of them already announced on the market and coming. So this Meizu HD digital tonal converter is surprisingly good, especially for the device that is made by mainstream company and usually mainstream company companies don't care about the sound quality so it's a really pleasant surprise and I think it's a pretty good alternative to the smartphones with dedicated digital tonal converters because you just can attach this to your headphones and just get a better sound quality. Thank you for attention.